it's Sarah from Old Coin Bus Ladies and today we're gonna talk about Holo Chain and why it has been actually so popular and whether it's just a massive hype or there is some actual technical reasoning why Holo Chain is being so successful recently. So guys if you're not following me yet on Twitter give me a follow it's always nice to be followed by the people who watch my videos. I also made a video about pros and cons of Dogecoin that video can be found on the main channel, uh, All Coin Buzz. So guys, make sure to check it out and let's get on with today's topic. So technology has continued to evolve and has come a long way and keeps changing to solve real life problems. The entry of blockchain was seen as the epitome of it all until flaws began to come out glaring. And Holochain seeks to clear these bottlenecks and in particular scalability without a blockchain. Will this be technically viable or is it just a, uh, you know, another overhyped token? The new Holochain approach has attracted a lot of interest and has made the token become the hottest topic in the cryptoverse recently. And unlike the data-centric Bitcoin where data is hosted by the network participants connected by a blockchain, Holochain is agent-centric, which does not restrict scalability, a problem that many ecosystems has been unable to overcome. So what makes Holochain stand out from the crowd, you would say? So Holochain deploys a decentralized data storage algorithm that has been used successfully in the torrenting industry. The platform uses the distributed hash table that gives users the ability to download files from different hosted sources in bits. And this is a shift from the conventional blockchain system. And this simply means that Holochain does not write on a ledger to process its transactions. It uses select nodes to bring together some sections of the DLT. The evenly distributed nodes make it possible to eliminate the ledger and process transactions to achieve the highest levels of scalability that have been elusive in the older generation platforms. Additionally, Holochain is flexible and gives developers more power. And basically most old generation coin systems have been overtaken by user demands and changing governance rules has always ended up in software upgrades soft or even hard forks resulting in new coins because the participants have no leeway to change the rules. A holochain makes life easy to the developers through the DNA feature. These are rules set by individual DIA participants them to set their rules. This gives them a responsibility and additional flexibility as long as they do not go against the DNA or ground rules. So simply put, individual DApps have set DNA of rules that guide them in decision making. These rules are basically foolproof to ensure there are no flaws that can lead to conflict of interest. Rules are set before the dApps are included on the platform and these are how makes dApps run seamlessly and avoid repeating the mistake of Ethereum solidity lapses that led to the DAO hack. And what follows that is their impeccable holochain security and immunity. So the DNA or set of rules gives Holochain impeccable security and immunity based on individual applications. For instance, its developers have an Uber-like DApp and its DNA states you cannot run out two cups at the same time. Such a transaction will be rejected by other network nodes since it goes against the DNA rules. And to achieve network immunity, Holochain nodes are pointed to individual DHT and respective DApps that had specific set of rules or DNA. This makes it hard to break the ground rules since any form of manipulation is detected and the information is relayed across the network, thus enhancing the immunity. But what about the Holochain price now? So Holochain price has been on the rise from, I would say, mid-August and continues to hold despite the bearish market. However, the resilience of the price is not high based but investors are focusing on the technology driving Holochain rather than the current value propositions. So Holochain is ranked 50 on CoinGecko and 44 on CoinMarketCap. It's currently trading at not, not one cent and is up one and a half percent in 24 hours. The available supply is 178 billion with a market cap of over 200 million. The all-time high of Holochain was three months ago on the 6th of May and the price of it was not not 1.8 cents and since then it declined 44% so if you actually think of it it's not actually as bad as it could have been but Holochain has only been around since end of April so we can't really judge too much on it compared to all those altcoins that have reached the all-time high in December and January. 
So guys, let me know whether you've been invested into Holochain, what you actually think of the project. Is it a danger for blockchain or even Tangled? Do you think it's got a, is it a strong competition to those? And what you actually think of it? Is it an overhyped coin or is there more to it than just a great community? You can get Holochain from Binance, Hotbit, IDX, Liquid with Tether, Ethereum and Bitcoin. So as you can see, most of the volume, 82% of volume is on Binance. So if you have a Binance account, you'll be fine. Fine. And guys, remember, this is not professional financial advice in any way. I am just saying that maybe Holochain actually has more to it, just the hype. And this is basically my reasoning. So let me know what you guys think of Holochain. Remember to subscribe to our Combust Ladies. Give me the like button if you do agree with my reasoning and like Holochain. And I'll catch you all later. Hope you have a good weekend. Bye-bye.